And so, for his creativity, innovation, and lasting impact on jazz, it is my pleasure to present Berkeley's Honorary Doctor of Music degree to Donald Harrison, Jr. Hello, all. It's an honor to be here with everyone congratulating the 2021 Berkeley College of Music graduates. Thank you, President Roger Brown and our great teachers and all involved with sharing knowledge. For me, it is also heartwarming to receive an honorary doctorate and have the opportunity to communicate my experiences with our students, their parents, guardians, and advocates of music. Congratulations, professionals, and welcome to the next chapter in your lives. I stand here today very thankful to my parents, Donald and Harris. They brought me to the world, raised me, and nurtured my participation in culture and music. They were the ones who purchased my first saxophone. Without them being there first, nothing I have done would have been possible. I am thankful to my wife, Mary, and my daughter, Victoria, who believe in my work. They have supported my diverse musical directions and my intense desire to pursue them in many far off corners of the universe. We sacrifice much as a family to ensure music gets completed and I can sustain a working band. I am also thankful to my siblings, Sharice, Michelle, and Cara. In addition to them, my nephews, Brian, Kyle, and Chris, son-in-law, Derek, family, friends, and music lovers who have supported me over the last four decades. I'll tell you something. I still remember the feeling of knowing that I was in the right place the moment I stepped through the doors at 1140 Boylston Street. I knew Berkeley was a place where the best of the best came to learn and further their dreams. Berkeley is where you refine the skills needed to achieve your goals. The halls at Berkeley are where generations of artists have met and formed relationships that have moved music and the arts forward. During my tenure there, I wanted to learn music and do everything hum humanly possible with it. And Berkeley was the direct precursor for pre preparing me to play a variety of musical styles, understand others' perspectives, and be allowed to perform with many incredible musicians. I played with the genius strong Roy Haynes at 19. Jack McDuff and Art Blakey hired me at 21, after leaving Berkeley, I played with over 250 master innovators of various styles of music. I know now we are a universal family, a massive part of music and life, and we are all connected, even if we have not met. Many have passed through the halls of Berkeley before you, and many will enter after you are gone. Today, it is your turn to enter the world outside the classroom and introduce yourself and your gifts to the universe. I feel fortunate to have been taught the lessons of many geniuses from them. Now I want to share what I can with all who will listen. Here are some of their lessons. Number one, be ready to seize the opportunities that will manifest. Work to be your best. That's two. Three, follow where your heart leads you. Four, form coalitions where everyone supports each other. Five, treat others as you would have them treat you. Six, very important, save your money. Seven, music is not a competition. It should be about telling your stories. Nine, eight, I'm sorry, eight, give the music, give to the music and the music will give back. Nine, play the best version of your music every time you play. In closing, if you are faithful to the music, it will ring true in the music you create. With music, like life, the more you work and put into it, the more you will see from your efforts. I joyously anticipate seeing where the results of your classes, music, will take you in the future. I know there will be lessons that you will teach me and others. 
So congratulations and kudos for proving that you can compete and complete a monumental task. I wish the best life to each one of you. Thanks for having me. Hope to see you around the music.